Some of you are rejecting some of the most influential people in your lives. Now, with everything that's going on right now, you need to cut that out. And I'm going to give you five reasons why. Hiya, troopers! Look, it's Mr. J showing the love. Be sure to show me your support by subscribing to my channel and smacking that notification bell. We're living during some perilous times where people are hurting and we really need each other. You may think, I got Jesus and I don't need nobody else. But he has extended that by telling us to love one another. God has strategically placed people in our lives during certain times in certain places. Some of us has a bad case of the don't touchies and need to be a little more open to other people. You know, Jay, I was thinking, you know, I don't need you thinking in my space. If you happen to look at me, speak to me, or breathe on me, I'm going to punch you in your throat. Alrighty then, that wasn't very nice. And with COVID and all these other variants hasn't made the situation any better. We're packed in the airplane like sardines to fly somewhere, jammed into our favorite restaurants. We don't mind a large crowd when we're out shopping or attending a great sports event. But if you mention going back into the house of the Lord, all of a sudden you're concerned about catching something? Really? We were made for each other. We need each other. And here's why. Number one, you need someone to love you. Let's flash back to 2 Timothy chapter 1 where Paul is addressing young Timothy by letter. I am writing to Timothy, my dear son, may God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord give you grace, mercy, and peace. See, Paul served as a spiritual father or a mentor to Timothy. There are individuals within your church family, outside of your biological family, that actually love you. Allowing their love to manifest in your life will actually help you to grow in your faith. In verse 3 of the letter, Paul writes, Timothy, I thank God for you. To God I serve with a clear conscience, just as my ancestors did. Night and day, I constantly remember you in my prayers. And number two is you need someone to pray for you. It's not only encouraging, but it brings comfort to know that someone is interceding on your behalf to the Almighty God our Father. Likewise, praying for someone else is a habit we should practice. You know, the prayers of the saints actually links us to God's grace, mercy, protection, unlimited power, and a whole bunch of other things. In verses 4 and 5 it says, I long to see you again, for I remember your tears as we parted, and I will be filled with joy when we are together again. I remember your genuine faith, for you share the faith that first filled your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and now that same faith continues strong in you. That leads to number three, you need someone to encourage you. Your spiritual growth will enhance and mature a lot faster if you have someone acting as your advisor, coach, or mentor that can bring on the encouragement. Number four, you need someone to hold you accountable. Meaning, I have a responsibility to answer to someone. Verses 6 and 7 says, This is why I encourage you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you when I laid my hands on you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but power, love, and self-discipline. We never grow too old to be held accountable to someone else. Stand by and action! A call to action is what we all need so that we don't grow sluggish where we're standing. Paul goes on to tell Timothy this in verse 8. So never be ashamed to tell others about the Lord. And don't be ashamed of me either even though I'm in prison for him. With the strength God gives you, be ready to suffer with me for the sake of the good news. And here's number five. You need someone to challenge you. I've always had some great mentors in my life, but my father by far was always number one. He would always challenge me to perform at my highest level and allow God to do the rest. He was that someone to love you, to pray for you, to encourage you, to hold you accountable, and to challenge you. It's because of him I am where I am today. You need somebody. I need somebody. So, to display Christ-like character, stop being cold-blooded to people when all they're trying to do is give you a life touch. It feels good, even during a storm, to know that you're not going through it alone. Even when you're going through the fight of your life, just to know that you have someone that's standing by your side. Now, here's my challenge to you, that you would develop a relationship to a spiritual mentor who will guide you as a disciple of Christ. Now, if you already have all of that going on, then develop a relationship with someone you can mentor. 
Hey, be sure to send me your comments and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. And whatever you do, just continue to keep showing the love. I'm Mr. J. I'll catch you on the next episode and peace.